one more time i greet you all in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ and i invite you those who are offline and online we go to the message this morning which i'm going to call this as immanuel immanuel we just want to see these three words how this is connected to the anointing of god into our lives amen for that i want you to see matthew chapter 1 one reference and isaiah chapter 7 another reference as i told you the word immanuel is mentioned in the old testament and in the new testament with a spelling of i in the old testament and ye in the new testament all right i want to read you first from the book of isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 the bible tells me therefore the lord himself will give you a, a sign The, therefore the lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will conceive and give birth a son and he call him immanuel you can see that spelling i immanuel i m m a n u e l immanuel okay let's come to the matthew chapter 1 verses 22 and 23 all this took place to fulfill what the lord has said through the prophet isaiah when when the writer writing in the new testament is not just starting with there is referring something back what is been told about emmanuel so that's the reason saying all this took place that means the child is going to be born because this child is something which has been waiting right from the days of the old testament and when this child born into this world he will be called immanuel that means something powerful is going to happen into the people's life when the immanuel enters into their life amen hallelujah as the immanuel entered into the world into the natural world into the earthly world the same way this immanuel has a need to enter into your spiritual world into your personal life into your secular life in every part of our life this immanuel is going to occupy your life amen hallelujah glory be to god immanuel is so powerfully explained in these two passages and it's a wonderful thing for me to preach this word this morning people of god You know we know Emmanuel means God with us we are we know all that but today I want to take you I am M Emmanuel in the Old Testament the origin right from the Greek from the Latin Emmanuel I want to break this word into three parts I am M means inside a in listen carefully all right i know it's it's is a new to many people i am means in or inside of you m a n man means human or mankind l means el elohim elion means god that means god inside the man is emmanuel hallelujah glory be to god God is with us we know that but the original meaning is God inside the man is Emmanuel I want to take you a little deeper You know how your formation your body formation when God created God took the dust it's called humus Humus means dirt or the dust and what God did is see spirit never dies you got to you got to understand a little theology spirit never dies but for spirit to live in any part of the world especially when the spirit to live on the earth the spirit needs a body now the body what you see is not raj inside is raj this is a body that's what he say anybody dies when the body will be taken away once the spirit lives your body has got no value but your body is so needed for the spirit to live inside because without the body the spirit is illegal may god speak to you it doesn't have body that's what they're illegal 
okay so that's what spirit always search for a body to come and do something whatever that's what we see all in the jesus is casting the devil out of the bodies because the spirit cannot do anything legally on the earth unless it has a body that's the reason this evil spirit possess the body to do and to torment the people am i reaching you so the same way the holy spirit also needs a body to perform what god wants to do on the face of the earth that's the reason god needs a body hallelujah so now when god created adam he took the humus humus means dirt and he took the spirit spirit never dies only body dies the spirit will go where it has to go that's not our topic now so what i'm saying is the spirit got put into the dust body and it's called the humus man humus means dirt man so when they remove that wall that's what we call the human human means humus man humanity now the spirit in the dirt body is called man now my topic is immanuel the spirit of god because god's when adam created in the likeness and the image of god god breathed in his nostrils the breath of god gave life to him and he is in the likeness and the image of god but he is in a dirt body the likeness and the image of god needs to do something on the face of the earth but it cannot do without a body that's the reason god has given in adam a body which is called the dirt body i mean hallelujah so when adam came into the body god gave him the right to speak adam everything you control you subdue let me tell you the earth given to man not for god the earth everything you do on the earth it is to be done by the man alone hallelujah god will never do on the earth god will make you do on the earth because god is illegal if he comes and do anything on the earth because god doesn't have a body and that's a reason god sent his son into the body called jesus so that god make jesus legally to do what god wants to do through jesus am i reaching you church Jesus is a body. It's a dead body. Jesus body was buried. And Jesus spirit that is son of God. So what God wants to do through his son, he put him in the body called Jesus so that Jesus is legally on the earth. This legality this legality is come right from the beginning. Amen. Hallelujah. When God created Adam I tell you God created Adam in his likeness and in his image so that God can do I mean Adam can do what God wants him to do I mean hallelujah So what I'm saying is now Jesus wants to live with us and when Jesus wants to live with us he needs a body and that's the reason the son of God put it this way Jesus is after he become the body we call him Jesus but before that who is he is the son of God second person of the trinity so second person of the trinity god wants to send him into this world so that he can give his blood and through his blood the world will be redeemed am i right so that body is called jesus so when the boy, when son of god came into that body he became jesus in the body and he did everything god wants in but now jesus has gone how jesus can live because jesus wants to live in us and the holy spirit want to live in us and holy spirit just cannot move like that i mean hallelujah isn't it am i reaching you so holy spirit has got a god has got a plan through jesus son of god that's the reason he, he brought him into this world and he come into the body called jesus and he finished the work and went now the holy spirit wants to come and dwell in the house in, 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 in the people so holy spirit just cannot dwell anyway like that without a body because god is just god and god never does violate his rule so he cannot operate the holy spirit of god without a body but god provided body after jesus what is that body what is church oh hallelujah body of 
not Jesus. Body, Jesus already went away. It's a body of Christ. Christ means anointing, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory. So, in the church, now we have why the church has got power because church is a legal entity for the Holy Spirit of God, for the anointing of God to dwell so that I be the part of the church, I be the part of the uh, body of the Holy Ghost and the Christ. I can do things what God wants me to do because it's not me, Christ who liveth in me. Hallelujah. What a powerful word. That's the reason we say believer means you now. No, no, I'm coming to the point now. Now, im man you owe. Im means inside of me. Man means man. I'm a man inside of me. Who is dwelling? Christ. Hallelujah. Anointing. That is what God is in you. God is in the human. Is Emmanuel. God with us. Hallelujah. When God is inside of me, God is making my body legal so that you can receive the miracles of God. Hallelujah. It is not me. God is making his power anointing of the Holy Ghost so that the Holy Ghost lives in you so that through you, God can do the things. As I said, God will never ever do the things on the face of the earth without man. That's the reason God needed man right from the beginning of Adam till this day. You and me, God is calling you. Hallelujah. You know why? So that you can be the body of the anointing and the cry. So that you can go out and reach people and touch people and save people and deliver people and set them free for the glory of God. That they can come into the body of Christ and become the children of God. Hallelujah. It is not God's work. It's your work and my work. Amen. Glory be to God. That's what Emmanuel God is inside of you. When he died and rose, he sent the power called the Christ and the anointing, not into anyone, right into the body of Christ. When you become the body of Christ, inside you dwells the presence of the living God and the power of the Holy Ghost so that you have the power to perform miracles and signs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is called the anointing. Glory be to God. That's what we preach. That's what we teach. That's what we empower. Glory be to God. So when Emmanuel is with you, in other words, you are carrying Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Make it that way. So who is inside of you now? When you become born again, when you come into the uh, 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 baptism and the uh, Holy Spirit experience, your body will become the temple of the Holy Ghost. That's what Paul said. Hey, don't you know your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost? Amen. Your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. That means God needs your body. Because God can work through you. Can I hear one amen please? When God is with you, God has to do something with you, in you and through you. When God, Emmanuel comes into my life, the anointing comes into my life, Christ comes into my life, He will work with me, He will work in me, He will work through me. He will work with me to keep me away from all the dust of this world. He will work in me to sanctify me and to make me like God. Hallelujah. And He will work through me so that His power can be released and set free people amen hallelujah am i reaching you so when you, emmanuel is in you emmanuel will do three things into your life emmanuel means nothing but the presence of god or the anointing of god or the uh, power of god so when he is in you he will change your life amen hallelujah because when he comes into you he cannot be the normal person again amen hallelujah because he keeps working in you working you working in you to us to the extent that you can be like how God is. Amen. That's what Jesus said, right? You should be like me. That's a that's a purpose of the church. So the spirit, when 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 when, when Jesus comes into your life, uh, when this Emmanuel is in you, he will do anything and 
everything you want. This is my message this morning. First, I explain it to you. So what Emmanuel can do? First, Emmanuel is for me, then for others. I mean, hallelujah. Am I reaching you? Emmanuel has come into your life. Definitely, he will do something through you. But before he does something, he won't do anything outside. Amen. Hallelujah. So, any any man or the woman of God, when they're preaching or teaching or having the power, first Emmanuel work with them and then through them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People of God, God is with you. Ah. Emmanuel, El, Elohim is in you. When he is in you, what he will do, we'll see in Isaiah chapter 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Oh God, hallelujah. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God, and I will strengthen you and help you, and I'll uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. When Emmanuel is with you, I said, he will work with you. He will work in you. Now, there are three things I wanted to show you. You know, now this message, I want to make it very practical and applicable to us. God is saying, do not be fear. A fear is so, so, so dreadful, right? Fear is something you imagine out of nothing in many cases. In many cases. Analysis tells us out of 100%, 75 to 80% is our imagination, fear. Actual, the actual fear is only 20%. Okay, I'm not going to go into that, but I want to just get into that. When, when he's saying, when the Lord is inside of you, don't get fear. Don't get fear. What I mean, don't I worry? Don't I know what's happening? What God tells is, we read that song, we sang that song. In the tempest, in the fire, in everything, it'll take you above. Hallelujah. That's what God says. Hey, I know what you're going through. I know what you're facing. I know your situation. I know difficulty. I know your challenge. I know the circumstance you're going. Don't say that I don't know it. I know it. But when you are with me, when you don't fear me and trust me, you know what I'll do? I, I don't keep you. I'll take you above that. Hallelujah. You get me? When Emmanuel... See, have you ever seen a cock? Can you dip a cock in water? You can't. Impossible. Why? science students the chemical composition of that material always float am i right science students your chemical composition your chemical composition of the child of god is wherever you dip in you will pop up like that eagle hallelujah that is what the blood of jesus that's what the blood of see born again is something so powerful you know in the spirituality, in the spirituality, your DNA is not the DNA of the man. Your DNA will be changed to DNA of Christ. That's what you're called the child of God. Oh, hallelujah. You know that? Physically, you may examine your blood group, but in the spirituality, God has replaced your blood group with a blood group for the Son of the Living God. That's what God calls you, my son. Hallelujah. If you don't share the blood, you cannot call anybody my son or my daughter. Am I right? And when you share the blood, you never share the blood of the woman, you share the blood of the man. You never share the blood of the mother, you always share the blood of the father. And mother's blood will never ever touch the baby when the baby is inside or baby is outside. So always the blood that flows in the child is only the father's blood. That's the reason the blood of Christ is flowing in me. That's what I call him as Abba the Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The blood of Jesus will identify 
at the time of the judgment and tells hey this is my blood my son hallelujah can i hear one amen church what a what a powerful statement the lord is speaking that's the reason we become the children of god don't be fear when i'm preaching i know what i'm going through amen hallelujah is not that i have fully equipped everything and i'm just saying to hey i am going through a stuff but i know i'll be over the stuff hallelujah you know why because i trust in the lord i trust in the lord hallelujah because he is going to speak to me he is going to empower me he is going to tell me he is going to do everything for me because he is my father hallelujah first thing when emmanuel is inside of you he will help you he will uphold you he will strengthen you amen hallelujah can i read that verse again isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god and i will come on everybody read that word i will strengthen you help you uphold you not with our dear hand with the righteousness of god hallelujah do not be fear emmanuel is with you you know what is it let me precisely put it not emmanuel anointing is in you hallelujah anointing will work for you anointing will break the yoke the bible tells me amen hallelujah any yoke that is upon you the power of the anointing and break you shatter so that you can be above the tempest hallelujah making it sense second one when emmanuel is inside of you when the anointing of god inside of you Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 the bible says be strong and courageous do not fear or be in dread of them for it is the lord your god who come on read that who goes with you hallelujah he will not leave you Now forsake you. So why Emmanuel is inside of you to go with you? Hallelujah! Can I hear one amen? Not only he'll go with you. The Bible says me another translation. He goes before you. Hallelujah! When you go before, you tread the path so that the person who is coming can walk smoothly. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. When you're going before means you are tri- where, where there is no way that's what God said I'll make a way hallelujah glory because when he goes before you he sees there is no way because he's going there he'll correct uh, he'll, all this you know uh, ups and downs crooked places we say you know he'll set the crooked places straight the bible tells me so he tread upon everything and he goes before you so that you can walk through him amen hallelujah people of God anointing in you to make you walk through through the deserts through the valleys through anything you name it hallelujah because anointing is alive i mean hallelujah we believe in that emmanuel god is inside of you who is god oh is an awesome and powerful god all right and the third one i'll tell you people of god and the third thing i say when emmanuel is inside of you when the anointing is inside of you you know what it is Je- jephania 317 jephania 317 the lord your god is your midst is in your midst a mighty one who will save you he will rejoice over you with gladness he will quiet you by his love he will exult over you with loud singing oh hallelujah this is something so powerful and so touching you are thinking i am in trouble you are thinking that i am going through this stuff you are thinking that i am going through this challenge you are thinking that the problem is only for me you know what the lord is saying here hey you think it is a problem i can turn that into rejoicing hallelujah it is not you rejoice i will rejoice over you oh my god oh this is something powerful isn't it god himself you are saying in a problem but i turn the problem in such a way is not doing you rejoice i rejoice over you hallelujah glory be to god that is the anointing we carry hey tell me which person doesn't have problem but everybody has got challenges but what i tell you is what i have the hope in him nobody has got the hope amen hallelujah that's what we got to understand 
is what only Christians are suffering. Yes, if it's only Christians are suffering, I accept that. Amen. Is only Christians are suffering. Everyone, if you are a human being, you are you are subjected to suffering and agony. In that case, why we claim God because it's coming from Him? No, no, no. He's changing that situation. Hallelujah. And you know why? He wants to rejoice over you. Hey, my son is so and so, so and so. As we talk about our children, God will talk about us. Amen. Hallelujah. People of God, God will rejoice over you. God will quieten you in the midst of the storm. Amen. Hallelujah. I can give you a lot of examples. See, this is this is the power of our God. It's not that you don't have a problem. In the problems, you know how to be quiet. In the problems, I don't know how you can trust God. In the midst of the problem, you know how you, God can challenge that situation. In the midst of all the things you enjoy, then you are the real son of God and the daughter of God. Hallelujah. Not creeping about all the time. The worst thing one could ever do to the Lord is murmuring. That's God I'm preaching this morning. That's God we are worshipping this morning. People of God, come on, raise up to the Lord. Tell Lord you are going to do miracles. Lord you are going to take me out of this situation. Lord you are going to make me out of this path. Lord you are going to do wonderful things, mighty things. Confess the Lord and say, Lord I am with you. Hallelujah. And you'll see the miracles. You see the wonders. The anointing start. You should allow the anointing to work through your faith and confession. Amen. God is with us means Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 have I not commended you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you read that last one wherever you, I, I want you to see I'm just saying that it's, it's, it's not listening you confess you confess the word of God is displaying so that you can talk to you can at least confess that word Lord yes you are with me amen hallelujah you are with me Lord confess that wherever you go Emmanuel is with you amen hallelujah and every word you see God is saying do not fear be courageous be courageous especially in Joshua he said as I was with Moses I will be with you hallelujah in other words what he's trying to say is, hey my power what I had what I am having what I will have will never change that's the reason I am a God unchanging amen hallelujah yesterday today and forever I change not amen that's a God we worship people of God come on and the Bible tells me I have not have I not commended you to be strong and courageous I'll give you a, a beautiful a beautiful words that you can understand you know what is success in Christianity success means strength plus obedience strength from God obedience from you becomes a success amen hallelujah strength from God and disobedience from you can never be successful God always, always works in cooperation with man. You got to understand this in a bottom line. God will never ever touch anything if you don't allow him to do it. God, because earth belongs to you. Very, very deep teaching. People may not understand. Earth doesn't belong to God. The Bible says the prince of the world is not Jesus. The prince of the world is devil because devil has taken the key out of Adam even before the foundation when God uh, started life with Adam keys of the world is taken away by the devil and till this day devil is in charge of the world but God has taken the death from the devil amen hallelujah you got to understand the language and God never took the keys of this world that's the, I mean the, the power of this world it is still in the hands of the devil that's what the Bible says the prince of the world is devil that's the reason Jesus did not keep the church on the world Jesus kept the church in the heavenly Oh God, something powerful. Church is not in the world. God has taken the church and kept in the heavenly because this world belongs to the devil. The prince of the world is devil, not Jesus. Glory be to God. But Jesus took the keys of the hell, of the death, and he rose. That's the reason you and me are risen with Christ today. Hallelujah. 
glory be to god success is the strength of god and the obedience of what i'm trying to tell me god will never ever work without you cooperating with god this is for sure because i cooperated with god god saved me god changed me i become the child of god when i become the child of god i must keep on cooperating with the lord so that i can have success in every walk of my life amen hallelujah glory be to god let me tell you a beautiful thing what i liked you know what is courage is not opposite of fear courage means not opposite of fear courage means going through the fear with jesus hallelujah it change your entire perspective of what you understand courage means i go through the problem i go through the suffering i go through everything it's not that i'm scared of that i'm fear of that i have the courage and boldness i go through this with the help of god that means emmanuel is with me that is the courage may god speak to us this morning courage is not the absence of fear but going through the fear with the presence of god hallelujah what a what a what a what a statement that is we think the other way no 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 god will never take away your problem let me tell you very clearly problems are always for you to overcome not to take away amen hallelujah that's what god says i will fight the battles with you and for you god always fights the battles he never take the battles away but when you go through the battle you don't go on your strength you go with the presence of god hallelujah that is what he meant wherever you go i don't know where you are going today i don't know how you are going today i don't know what is the chances of your success you are thinking but i tell you as a son as a servant of god this morning on this anointing sunday what the lord put in my heart i'm declaring it emmanuel is with you hallelujah glory be this sunday we are we are claiming emmanuel amen hallelujah emmanuel can make you walk through emmanuel can take you through emmanuel can bless you emmanuel can bring the sun us into your life emmanuel can change uh, anything and everything because you are the temple of the living god and you are the host of the living god you are the carrier of the presence of god and anything and everything will bow down to the presence of god hallelujah you be the carrier that is what emmanuel in man you owe god inside of you and the another definition is that god in the flesh is emmanuel 